Okay, so decided to do a video on this uh, Tardisk hard drive expander I bought for my MacBook. Now I've already got it inserted in the side there. You can see it's nice and flush. So it looks factory. It's in, right in where the uh, SD card slot goes. And what this does is expands the hard drive. So this is the current hard drive uh, memory that I have on my MacBook Air and it's showing 27.9 gigabytes free of the 120. So this was uh, an additional 128 gigs. So if you just move the mouse over, you can see what it opens up. So now I'm gonna have 155.8 gigabytes free. So before I inserted the uh, tire disc inside of the computer, I followed the instructions for the most part. Uh, I did a time machine backup last night, which took a, quite a while because I've never done one before. So that took about an hour and a half for that to all go through and I saved it to my external hard drive that plugs in the uh, USB port on the side of the MacBook. So I did that and then I just made sure all the apps were turned off and uh, did a first aid check of the hard drive. So I just followed the instructions all the way through. I didn't do this one because it said optional, highly recommended, whatever. I took the risk, seems to be working good so far. Um, but I did do the verify hard drive one. So yeah, I just quit all the programs, insert the tire disc, and that's where I'm at now. I ran running the tire disc pair installer, and I'm not really sure if it's already done or what. We'll just click on that. Oh, your apples about to pair. So scores, this is what I want to do. So I'll just hit continue. And it's going to ask me for my password. Trevor Corey is my username. Don't know why. Nothing to do with the Trailer Park Boys though. But anyways, just going to type in my password here. So I can't let you see that. And password's in, hit OK, and looks like it's working. I don't know how long this is going to take, but uh, while that's chooching away there, I'll just explain why I got it. Like, even though I had 28 gigs left on my hard drive, it just, it wasn't enough. I'm you know, want to get into doing some more GoPro footage editing and those files are pretty massive. Like, even though I dump everything off my hard drive on my MacBook after I edit a video and upload it, it's still, you need the space on it to put these mega files on so you can sort through them while you're editing your video. So that's why I got it. And I thought about buying a new MacBook, but they're like $2,000 and there's nothing wrong with my MacBook Air that I have. You know, it's not obviously as powerful as the new MacBook Pros for editing, but it's good enough for me. I'm definitely not a professional, so I picked up the 128 gig tire disc for $120 on eBay. And with all that being said, it looks like it's done. I just need to restart the computer and I'll go ahead and do that and we'll see how much it takes to come back up and we'll go back into my uh, little Apple task bar thing there up at the top and see how much free memory I have but obviously I'll have 155 gigs because that's what it said before I ran it. So I'll just go up here. What's this say? 
take a tour. I mean, I'll do that in a minute, but we'll go up here about this Mac and then go to storage and looky looky 154 gigabytes free now you can also get the uh, a bigger one I think a 256 card but it was a lot more money like double the price and this is gonna be plenty for me I mean I can't really see myself filling this up for quite a long time so yeah it was uh, pretty much that easy to install and um, maybe we'll just see what the take the tour things all about here click on that well looky looky there my like it said it would do it was 120 gigabyte hard drive now it's 248 sweet I lost my SD card slot there but I already ordered a USB 3.0 to SD card and micro SD card adapter for I think it was like four dollars and fifty cents US shipped right from the manufacturer in China so I'll be able to uh, put my files on my MacBook off my SD card through that and in the meantime I'm gonna try uh, downloading some files right straight from the GoPro with the uh, Bluetooth see how that works I've never done that or the Wi-Fi I've done it from my uh, GoPro to my iPhone but I've never done it to the MacBook so I'll try that until I get the adapter in the mail from China which could take a while. But anyways, I uh, hope you liked the video. Hope it helps you out if you're thinking of expanding your hard drive. Maybe I'll do a video in the future on, you know, how it's running, how it's working, if it's uh, slowing the computer down at all, or if it's not. From everything I read, it it uh, the computer runs exactly the way it did before, like just as fast. It doesn't slow it down. So I'm really not too worried about that. It seems like a good product and it did what I needed it to do so far. So there you go. Uh, hope you like my video. If you got any comments, comment down below. Hit the like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Uh, once again, I'm not a computer expert. I'm just like a beginner, total beginner. So if you ask me any questions about it, Hopefully you keep it pretty basic because you might be better off asking a professional and that's not me. But just thought I'd do this to help you out. If it's any help to you, that's great. And uh, thanks for watching. One more thing, I just hit the continue button there on the tour and now it's asking me to register your tar disc. So that's going to be entirely up to you. Not sure if I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thanks again.